Hello fellow YouTubers and Disney nerds, my name's Tressa and today I'm going to be doing a Hidden Mickey Mystery Pin Haul. Now I have a, I have bought a 25 pack and a 50 pack of these bad boys and I have been told by many people that, oh that can't be right, that's too cheap, they must be fakes, it's a scam, so on and so forth. Anyways, so I have not seen a YouTube channel or any YouTube video here on YouTube that has told me like, oh, this is a, this is like all a fraud. So I thought, hey, why not give it a try? So I have originally bought a 25 pack and a 50 pack, but sadly the 50 pack bag was in horrible condition. So I just asked my boyfriend if he can move all the pins out of their little individual baggies and then just put them into the 25 pack bag because this package was like the only one that wasn't damaged. So yeah, this is going to be a very interesting video. If you are new to my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button down below and hit that little notification bell right here in the corner. And without further ado, we're just going to get right on into it. So before we get too much into this video, how are you guys liking the hat? Isn't it great? Isn't it great? Anyways, before I get too much off the topic, um, I have gone onto eBay multiple times and I have never seen these before, so these are brand new to me. I have never opened up these packages. Like I said, I had my boyfriend take them all out and move them to this one bag because I did not want to see them. And I actually had to have him keep hold of it because I wanted to look at them, but I was like, no, don't ruin it. This is for a YouTube video. Let it be a surprise for you and everyone else. So, because of you guys, I didn't look at these pins. So, um, I'll link up more information about these pins down below, like what I want, like, kind of like what buyer I went through. Um, with the buyer, I actually, um, they, there was like ones that had options, but it's just like, they didn't really give me a price on how much those were going to be. So I was like, eh, I'll just get a 50 pack and a 25 pack. And I did the math and it was so much cheaper. The amount that I've paid for these pins, I would, I believe would come up to $40, like, like high 30, low $40. I can't exactly remember the math. I written it all down in my notebook, but now I can't find my notebook. So, lucky me, right? Um, so before I get too much into this, um, like I said, I've never bought these before, so I can't tell you if they're real, real or fake. Um, I will not be pin trading any of these. These are kind of just adding on to my collection. Anything Disney pins, I'm all for it, whether it's real or fake, but if I get one that's like I don't really like, I'm gonna probably give it away to a family or a friend, just kind of like, oh, like, you know, like, I got you a Disney pin, but, like, it's not, like, I can't tell if it's real or fake, like, I really hope you like it, and I'm sure they'll love it just as much as I love these pins. So, before... That's basically all the basics, so we're just gonna get right on into this. I'm gonna randomly pull one out of my bag. Oh, this is kind of cute! I don't know who this character is. Is that Bayan? Because I don't say that's Bernie Bayan if I don't know this character. So, like I said, I can't be able to tell if these are real or fake. So, but actually, it's it's really cute. I mean, I'm definitely going to keep it. Really cute. So, we're going to keep moving because I don't want this video to be like 50 minutes long because who wants to watch a 50 minute long video? The next pin I am seeing. Oh, oh that's actually kind of cute. I think, I'm not sure where this is from. It's a hidden Mickey because it has a little, you can tell because it has a little Mickey up there. I think it's a bellhop, but I can't tell what kind of bellhop that is. That's very interesting. I'll definitely have to look it up. Alright, we're just going to keep, we're going to get another one because like I said, I don't want this video to be too long. Dang it, another character, I don't know his name. I know he's from Tiny Toons. And he says Soom Soom. I love Soom Sooms. A lot of people think that they're kind of creepy looking, but I think it's kind of cute because they're like little Disney tater tot looking things, you know? So cute. Moving on. 
see, this is actually one of the pins that I know has a possibility of being fake. I can't exactly remember what this is from, but I did watch a YouTube video on common ones that are fake. Like I said, I tried finding a video of someone actually opening these up, but I didn't really find anyone actually opening them up. I just saw, I just, uh, saw a video of someone saying like, oh, if you get this one in your pack, it's probably fake. You should get rid of it. Don't trade it. It's like, I'm not going to trade any of these, so it doesn't really matter. But I don't really like this one because it doesn't stick out for me but you know it's still kind of still kind of cool little hidden mickey always fun all right the next one is the same kind of thing but it's like it's a different one like it's like i know what it is like it's like i can't remember what it is though it's like they described it but i can't remember doesn't that just bug you like when you like when you're trying to remember something and you just your mind goes to blank? Oh, it's a Minnie Mouse pin! I love Minnie Mouse! She is so cute and I love her and Mickey because they are serious relationship goals. In fact, this uh, last year he turned 90 and he looks pretty darn good for 90. I hope I can look that good at 90. And him and Minnie, they've just been get, they've just been together for years. And this year, I think he's going to be turning 91. And I can't wait because I love Mickey and I don't mind celebrating his birthday. So the next one that we are pulling up is... I'm not sure. I know he's called like Orange Bird or something like that because I saw other YouTubers that had like his cup. But I think they just called him Orange Bird, so I don't know if he's maybe part of the Tiki Room. Because there's a lot of birds that are in the Tiki Room, so I don't know if he's maybe like a specific character or what. But it's another Tsum Tsum. I love Tsum Tsum. Tsum Tsums are so cute. Anyways, moving on. I'm not sure what this is either. I'm not sure if this is maybe like an Epcot. It doesn't really look like anything I've seen at Epcot, so can't exactly 110% say, like, oh yeah, it's from Epcot, I know that, I already knew that, like, I don't know. It kind of sucks, because I don't know, but I know I've seen these around everywhere, like, same thing, like, with the shoes and the rock climbing one, I've seen those everywhere, so can't really tell. The next pin that I am pulling out of my goodie bag is, it's a Donald Duck crossbones, like the skull and crossbones, but you can see like Donald Duck's little bow and like his attire, so that is really cute. I am really keeping this one. This one's like very unique. I have never seen this kind of uh, pin before, not even like at like regular stores like any pins really that you can be able to find they're Disney pins they don't have to be directly from Disney parks I mean if you get a Disney park one those ones are really cool but it's like I like finding random Disney pins and then just adding them to my uh, pin board which is another thing is that I'm going to be doing a DIY video on how to make a massive pin board because I tell I got a lot of pins now so we're gonna keep moving Yay! Oh my gosh, it's Scuttle from Little Mermaid, and he's a Tsum Tsum. That is so cute. Oh, I love this one. This one just became my favorite. Well, I would say second favorite because Minnie Mouse will always be my favorite. She's my girl. So moving on. Not sure what this is. I know it's like one of those like Mickey, if I can get it to focus, I can't remember the name of them, but it's like the same thing, it's just like this, you know, and it's like they have like that one open hand, like the other hand is flat, but I can't, can't put my finger on it, so we're going to keep on going. Oh, this is so cool. So this is a, a Star Wars one. It is a Rebel Squadron Red Leader. 
that's actually really cool. I might keep this one because my grandma is like overly obsessed with Star Wars. And I mean completely obsessed. My whole entire childhood was nothing but Star Wars, Star Trek, all that good stuff. So we're gonna keep moving. Oh, this one's kinda cool. That is really cool. So it is a big, it's pretty big. It's actually like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a pretty, like compared to my hand, it's a pretty big pin. And it has like a hollowed out Mickey and it's blue and I love the color blue. Good pin, good pin. It's a, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool pin. It's a Mickey Mouse head, but it's a Marie Mickey Mouse head. I love Marie. Oh my gosh, this is really cute. I am really keeping this one. Dude, we're having pretty good pins, even if they're fake or not. I don't care. These are good pins. I'm keeping every single one of these. That is so cute. Oh my god. As much as I want to fantasize about that pin the whole time, I gotta keep going because like I said, there's a lot of pins. The next one is like a golden Mickey. Well, like his like the outlines are like golden and then like he's like super bright yellow, super happy and he's kind of like the old cartoony kind of Mickey, not like the new days Mickey. There's 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 a huge difference. Um, but that is really cute. I'm going to keep going. Oh, I've seen these pins and they're like Mickey they're like Mickey Mouse, but they're like expression pins. And he looks pretty, like he's like just pitching a fit, you know, like he's just like yelling for no apparent reason. And I do that a lot too, so we can relate. Next pin is the same one as that last pin, but like the hands are different. So like I said, I can't be able to tell which one this is. I can't even, I can't even picture which one is this. Cause the last, the first one was a character and these ones are kind of plain. So I can't exactly tell what these are. And that makes me feel like a horrible, horrible Disney fan. I should know what they are. So the next one is, it's a grape. And there's like two little hidden Mickeys here. Let me back that up a little bit so you can see it. So there's like a Disney, like a hidden Mickey in the Disney, like in the grapes. And then there's like even a smaller little Mickey. That is really cute. Like I said, I'm gonna keep all of these, but there's gonna be like some that are just like not my favorite. And then there's gonna be some that are like my complete favorite. So I would rate this one in my not so favorite, but I'm definitely keeping it. All right, so we are going to end up doing three at a time because, I, like I said, I do not want this video to be super duper long. So I'm just gonna pick three random pins if I can grab three random pins. All right, so I am seeing some amazing pins. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. All right, so the first one I'm getting is a Disneyland Paris pin, and it's Minnie Mouse, and she's at Notre Dame. See, that's like the one thing I love about Disney pins, is that like, they're just, they're amazing, and like the pictures are great, and I love Minnie Mouse, and I love the Hunchback of Notre Dame movie, so it's like two pretty cool items that I really like in one pin. That is really cool. The next one is like a little pixel art goofy. That is so cute. I love that. That is awesome. And the next one is a green and pink like lock kind of thing. I don't know if that's maybe supposed to be like a princess theme kind of deal because the only princess that really comes to mind is Tiana because of the green. But I can't really think of one that's green and pink. I'm gonna have to think about that for a while. So the next three that I am pulling out is... I got Donald Duck's hat. That is so stinking cute. That is so cute. I love that one. That's definitely going in my favorite pile. The next one is... I can't tell what that is. I'm not sure because it kind of looks like Chip. But it's like, it's not shit. Like it's, I'm not sure what that is. It's still cute and I'm still gonna keep it, but I just don't, I just don't know what it is. Like I said, it looks exactly like chip, but I don't know if it's maybe supposed to be like, like a Disney part garbage can kind of thing. Cause I know that those pins do exist, but I'm not sure. 
So the next one I'm pulling is Eve. I love Eve and I love Wally. That is such a cute little pin and it's a Tsum Tsum kind of thing. I'm not sure if it's like supposed to be a Tsum Tsum or if it's supposed to be like just like a super cute Eve, like emotional, kind of like how the Mickey was, like how he has like his pins of emotions. But it's still cute and it's still going on my pin board. So the next three that I am getting is another Minnie Mouse pin and she's just like so cute and like all uh, girly, well not girly, what is the word, like flirty and like having fun and smiling. That's why she's my favorite because you know she just has, she's just so cute. She's always rocking it. Next pin I'm getting is a stitch pin and he is so freaking cute. I mean it is kind of small so I have to bring it up a little bit closer but I mean like compared to my hand pretty pretty drastically small but he is still cute. I mean look at that face. He's adorable. I would have to say that he's my second favorite Disney character. And the next one I'm getting is another bird, but I'm not sure who this is. Like I said, I think these are from like the Tiki Room, but please don't, please don't hate me, but I just don't know who these birds are. So we're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. The next three that I am pulling out it's another squadron pen and it's a golden leader pen so that's actually good that's really cool because I honestly don't know how many of these of these there are it doesn't say how many that you're supposed to collect but I think there's only I think there's red leader there's gold leader there's blue leader I'm not sure if there's any other leaders than that but those are the only ones that I'm aware of so that's really cool because my grandma like I said my grandma loves I mean loves Star Wars so those are gonna be a great gift. The next pin that I am seeing is a pin and it says it's from Hong Kong Disneyland. So this one might be real, but it's a Pooh Bear pin pin. <laughs> it's a Pooh Bear safety pin pin. Isn't that just the cutest thing that you have ever seen? And I love it. I'm definitely putting that on my pin board. Like I said, all these are going on pin boards. So if I sound like a broken record, I'm so sorry. The next pen I am seeing is a Walt Disney World flag pen. That's very interesting. I have never seen these before. And it's like reflective, so I'm really sorry if you can't really see it, but that's really cool. So I'm hoping that we're getting close to the end. Like I said, I bought 75, so who knows how many left. Oh, that one's kind of cute. It says, wanna trade? It's a hidden Mickey pin. That's really cute. I'm not gonna trade this, but this is definitely going on my lanyard my next visit. And that's a big thing that I'm trying to schedule for next time. So here's another one. I believe, oh, I'm not sure who this is. I think he's from Epcot, but I can't put a, put a name on it. I'm pretty sure it's from Epcot. And my next pen is a Goofy pen, and it looks just like the Minnie Mouse pen that I had, but it says Goofy. I like Goofy. I would definitely have to say that he is my third favorite of the Sensational Six. I know a lot of people say the Fab Five, but I prefer the Sensational Six because, you know, Daisy's there too, and it kind of sucks that there's only one female in this, uh, the Fantastic Five. So the next one, I'm getting another parrot that is either. <laughs> the next one I'm getting is a, another common fake pin is what I've been told, but it's still not a bad pin. I like it because the color, I mean, it's vibrant, it's bright, and it's pretty, so not bad. The next pin I'm getting is a duplicate pin. What are the odds of me getting a duplicate pin? He's still cute though, but like I said, I'm gonna probably be giving this one away because I already have one and I don't need two. So we're gonna keep on going. If I can pick out three, that's possible. Oop, I picked out four. That's okay. So the next one I'm getting is a Captain Hook hidden Mickey pin. That is so cute and it's his hook. I've never seen a Captain Hook's hook pin. That was mouthful. That's really cool. 
the next one I'm getting, oh, you're definitely not gonna be able to see this one. Maybe you might, maybe you won't. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like an abstract art of Donald Duck. I'm trying to get it to a way to where you can see it. Uh, not really gonna be able to see it on camera. No, there's just, there's just no way. So that one I would say is my mid favorite. And I got an otter little otters from uh finding dory and they're like cuddle time oh my gosh it's like so cute i'm definitely keeping that one all right so we're just gonna keep on rolling rolling i got daisy oh my gosh and she is so cute look at her she's just rocking those sunglasses she was like yeah i know it i'm cool i'm sex nice <laughs> she's hot anyways so the next one that I am getting is a another one that's like a common uh, a common fake pen girl I'm so mad I want different ones so the next one I'm getting is another Star Wars pen and it's a red leader Mickey head pen I actually like this one so I might keep this one or I might give it to my grandma I'm not 100% on it so yeah, the next one I am getting is a Donald Duck pin, and it's just like the mini, and it's just like the goofy, but it's Donald Duck. I actually like Donald Duck because he makes me laugh, because like when he gets like super angry and stuff, and he just goes completely belligerent. It's <laughs> I don't know why. It's it's just so cute. I'm getting another mini pin. This is so cool, and this is kind of like the more of like the now mini because she's wearing like the polka dot bow and like the polka dot dress and the really super cute yellow heels. That one is going right next to my other mini pins. The next one I am getting, oh this one's actually really cute. It's like a bunch of di uh, Mickey heads, but it's like one of them's like silver, the other ones are like an outline, the other ones are blue. That's really pretty. That one's going right in my like pile. Next one. Oh, this is a <laughs> this is like um I'm not sure what kind of pins these are, but I have opened up a box of these before. It's like when they're like when it's like food items or like ab like obstacle um, objects. Sorry, not obstacles, objects that are like Mickey's. Like they just put them like in a form of Mickey's and this one's a watermelon. And that's actually funny because watermelon's my favorite fruit. So I'm definitely keeping this one. So the next one I am getting, I can't put a name on it, but I know he's from Indiana Jones. I don't think that's Indiana Jones itself, but it might be, but I think it's like his sidekick, like his partner. I actually like sidekicks. Sidekicks are like, are the bomb, so. I'm getting another Daisy! And she is just so cute. Look at her. Like, can you just not... Go, you can never go wrong with Daisy and Minnie. And look at those eyelashes. Those eyelashes are, like, someone could kill for. Literally. So, the next pen that I'm getting is a Mickey Mouse lanyard. That is so interesting. I've never seen this pen before. Like I said, like, I'm not giving any of these away. I know I sound like a broken record, but... All these pens are just gonna be added to my multiple like collection, so yeah. I'm gonna move on. Come on. One, two, three. Alright, so the next one I am seeing is a oh my gosh, I can't put a name on it. It's a circus ringlead, I think is what it's supposed to be, like a circus Mickey. And that is really, really cute. Kinda like reminds me of Dumbo, and I love Dumbo, cause Dumbo's an elephant and I love elephants. Moving on. Oh, I like this one. This one I actually might add to my purse. Like put on like my purse strap or something. It says princess. Oh, I love it. And it's like a really nice pink color. To be fair, I really wish that it was like more of like a Cinderella's castle blue because Cinderella is goals, like for real. She is my favorite Disney princess. The next pin I'm getting is like, oh my, that's actually really cute. Um, it's like a goldfish or just a fish in general and he has like a Mickey hat on and then he's got like a little Mickey on his stomach near his face. 
And that is really cute. Like I have never seen a pin like this before. Very interesting. So the next pins that I'm pulling out. One, two, three. Let's not grab a whole handful of trust. That would probably be the smart idea. Okay, so this is basically back to like the same character, this guy. But it's like, I know he's in Tiny Toons, my boyfriend has talked about him multiple times, but I cannot put a name on it, and I just, I can't figure it out. So there's actually two of his pins, and they're like both different, like, expressions. Like, one of them's just like really irritated and angry, and the other one's just like, hmm. You know, like that, hmm, just kind of like thinking, but it's like, it makes you frustrated because you can't figure out what you were thinking about. And the next one I'm getting is like a little Russian doll, but it's like, it's Mickey. That is so cute. I love it. So the next three pens that I am pulling out, one of them is a Walt Disney World uh, survey marker. I can't remember where you get these. I'm not sure if they're located at Epcot or if they're just like around Disney as, as itself. It kind of like has like that glow in the dark paint kind of color. And it's really cool. I wonder. No, it doesn't glow in the dark. That would've been really cool if it did. Cause I know that like some Disney pins, like Oogie Boogie, all of his, like a good majority of his pins glow in the dark. And that's just really cool. So the next one I'm getting is like a Mickey, but it's like a flag Mickey. And I can't put a name on it, on um, what flag that is. Not 100%. I should have paid more attention in history class, huh? Maybe I wouldn't know. Anyway, so the next one I'm getting, oh, this one's so cool! I've seen so many people get these, like they're they're really cute, and it's like I really want to get the box, but it's just like like I said, I just can't afford those boxes. So this is a Cheshire Cat Candy Apple Hidden Mickey pin. That is really cool. This just became like my second favorite pin. I love Cheshire Cat and I love Alice in Wonderland. In fact, I really wish that there was some place called Alice in Wonderland, because wouldn't that be cool if everything was just like topsy-turvy, upside-down kind of feel? I would, because I don't like normal. Normal's just weird to me. So the next three pins I am pulling out of this bag is... Oh, this one's so cute and it's perfect! Because as you know, my channel is called Disney Nerds. And look at this pin. It's a nerdy Pluto. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? Sorry, there was like someone walking, walking past and I was like, oh, freeze. <laughs> but isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, just that, oh my, I, had, I hate to say it, but this one just became my second favorite because it's just so perfect for this channel. The next one I'm getting is a pink, it looks like Cheshire Cat's colors, but it's like, it's a surfboard. And it's got a little hidden Mickey on there, if I can get my phone to focus. I don't know if it's gonna focus on it, sorry. But as you can see, it's it's like the pretty basic like shape and you can see like the little fins down there at the bottom. There's like a little hidden Mickey right there. So that one's kind of cute. And like I said, it reminds me of Cheshire Cat and I love Cheshire Cat. And it's just so cute, I love it. So the next ones that I'm pulling out are, it's another uh, Star Wars Rebel Squadron, but this one's a blue leader. That is so crazy. I was just talking about how the only ones that I knew was the red leader, the gold leader, and the blue leader. Like, how ironic is that? Like, that's kind of crazy, because like I said, I grew up on Star Wars, so it's like I only know like gold, red, and blue. I know that there's more, but I just can't think of the names. But that is so cool. I'm actually in shock a little bit. I was like, oh my gosh, were they just listening like to the thoughts in my head? That is really, really cool. So the next two I'm getting is another Hong Kong Bobby, uh, not a Bobby pin, a safety pin pin, but this one has Mike Wazowski on it. I love it. I love Monsters, Inc. And not only because Boo is like the most cute, adorable Disney child, but it's just, I love it. It's just like there's like monsters and it's like they kind of like turn everything around on how like monsters use ch uh, children's screams to like 
power all of their electronics and like their uh, their power plants and I just I find that very interesting. The next one I'm getting is another pin from Hong Kong and it is a Pooh Bear. It's really tiny like the one like that was like the stitch and it's just like it's just so cute. I can't think of the name of like what they're supposed to be. It's not it's not a Tsum Tsum, I don't believe. It might be a Tsum Tsum, but it's just like, it's not really, it's not really a tater tot kind of shape. So the next ones I am pulling, oh, they're falling off. Uh, the next three that I'm pulling out are going, there are, I got, that is so cute. So everyone knows who Mickey Mouse is and everyone knows like those fancy kind of pants that he wears like with the little yellow buttons on them. That is really cute. It is a really big pin. So it's basic like compared to my hand, it's a pretty big pin. Not gonna lie. It's about as big as that little uh, Mickey Mouse one that I showed you guys earlier. The blue one with like the silhouette cut out of Mickey Mouse's head. And the next one I'm getting is another tiny tiny tunes i'm getting a cream i'm getting a remake sorry uh, a copy of the ones that i got before so i have two duplicates that is eh, not really a big fan of tiny tunes maybe boy maybe my boyfriend would like them so like maybe i'll keep one and like he can have the other the next one i'm getting is another mickey and it's like a hidden mickey in a mickey like, that is a tongue twister. Hidden Mickey in a Mickey. I, I can't say that ten times fast, and I'm not going to, because, you know, I don't have time. Uh, the next three that I am pulling out are... I got a Toy Story character, and how ironic is that? I am wearing a Toy Story hat, and I am getting a Toy Story character. It's like one of those, like, blockhead kind of Toy Story character pins, and it's lots of bear. Lotso wasn't exactly my favorite character on uh, Toy Story because like he was kind of like a dictator kind of character and I don't really like that. And I don't know why I sniffed it but I thought maybe it was going to smell like strawberries and it doesn't. So but yeah he's actually really cute in this one but like I said he's not really my favorite character but like I, I can give this away for a gift so I'm going to put it like in my favorites pile but I'm not gonna keep it so the next one I'm seeing is another super cute Mickey uh, multicolored pin and like the circulars but this one's like reflective metal and then like yellow I really like that one I like the vibrant color ones because like then it's just like it brings me like even more joy so the next thing I am seeing is a Shanghai pin pin sorry um, but it looks like a Marvel character but I'm not 110% sure who she is if you know who she is write her name down in the comments below because this is gonna kill me and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to figure out like going online because you know if you look up a specific Marvel character like what's this like blonde hair is like you're gonna find like a million different answers because there's a lot of superheroes in the world so the next ones that I am pulling out are I'm getting <laughs> I just watched a video of a youtuber that I watch and she was opening up like these super cute hidden Mickey um, teapot shaped kind of pins and I was like huh wouldn't that be super cool if I actually got one and I did. It is a Belle teacup hidden Mickey pin. And Belle is my second favorite princess. I love this. I wish, like I said, I really hope, because I'm not done with these pins, I think I have a few more. Um, I really hope that I get an either like a Cinderella's castle or a um, even a Cinderella pin or even like the little uh, sidekick characters because I love Cinderella like like I said before Cinderella's goals like for real all right so we're gonna be moving on the next pin I'm getting is his Walt Disney World and it's Tinkerbell Tinkerbell is just like for a fairy she's got a lot of sass like I don't know if any of you guys have seen um, kind of like uh, what is it Think of the movie, Tressa. Think of the movie. 
Peter Pan, good gravy. I don't know why that took me so long to figure that out. Peter Pan, it's just like, besides the cartoons that she has now, like the movies that she has, like she's got a lot of sass for a fairy. And I thought fairies are supposed to be like jolly and happy and full of magic, but no, she was just like over it kind of thing. Another one that I'm getting is like another Mickey pin, another Mickey head pin, and this one's like green, like a lime green color. That is really, really cute. I kind of like this one. I'm definitely going to be keeping it. And the last two that I have, or I'm sorry, last three that I have, um, the last three that I have are a another Marvel character. I know exactly who this can go to because my boyfriend has a little cousin and he loves Spider-Man. It's kind of like, he, like he has every, like you're not even going to believe this, he has everything Spider-Man. Like I'm talking about Spider-Man scooters and a tricycle and a helmet and figures and Legos, but it's like now all of a sudden he likes Deadpool, so his mom's just like, like are you kidding me? So I'm hoping that he'll like this pin, but if not, it's, it doesn't matter to me. Right, so we're down to our last two pins. So the next ones I'm getting, it's a Mickey Mouse glove. Well, I can't exactly say like it's Mickey Mouse, like it could either be Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Goofy's glove. It doesn't, like it kind of goes along with the pants though, cause like they're both big. And it's all part of like his accessories so I don't know if maybe like you're supposed to get like a whole set like you're gonna get like a shoe kind of like how it was like with the Donald Ducks hat like I wonder if there's like more to it like you can get like the outfit you can get like the gloves the shoes and then you can get like the head and then you're supposed to get like another glove and another shoe and it's supposed to like if you put it all together it'll be like not like the whole figure but like it'll be like a figure of that cart of that uh, Disney character so that's really really cool uh, the next one that I am pulling out oh did I lose it oh this right there okay so the next the next two that I'm getting is a oh my gosh I just watched this movie yesterday it's that parrot off of Aladdin but I can't think of his name. I know it starts with an A. I know that. I just watched this movie yesterday and that is killing me on the inside the fact that I can't even think of his name because I just watched this movie. And I really want to go see the live action movie. I heard it's supposed to be really, really good. So the last pen that I'm getting is, it's like a dog bone. I don't know if it's supposed to be like for all Disney dogs, but I think that's Bolt. It looks a little bit like Bolt. Like I can't say, oh yeah, that's Bolt, but it's like, it's you only see like the eyes, the nose, and like a partial of the ear. But there's even like a little hidden Mickey down here in the corner. So I'm not sure, like I can't really get it to focus that well. But it's like, it looks like Bolt. But I still love it. Like, like I said, I'm not gonna be giving any, like I'm not gonna be trading any of these. I might give them away but I'm definitely gonna be keeping every single one of these pins, except for a few that I'm giving away for gifts. But other than that, it, was a, it wasn't that bad. Not bad at all. So sadly, that's the rest of these pins. Not bad. I mean, I understand that like when people would say, you know, like oh, you shouldn't get them because you're gonna, like you can't get rid of them, like you can't trade them because you can't tell if they're fakes or not. You don't wanna give people fake pins. But I mean, if you're wanting to just collect pins to collect pins, this is like the perfect, perfect package. Like I said, I got the 50 pack and I got the 25 pack. So 70 pins in all. And I only paid about $39 for all of these. And they came with free shipping and it was fast shipping. Like if the two pouches, I got them in like three days. That is amazing. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick glimpse of all the ones that I'm keeping and then like the ones that I'm not keeping. Like I said, I have about 30, no, sorry. <laughs> about, I can't even think of the math right now because like I'm just so excited about my new pins and I can't wait to put them on my new pin board. So I'm just gonna give you a quick glimpse of the ones that I'm keeping and then I'll show you the ones that I'm not keeping. So yeah, these are all the pins that I'm going to be keeping. Like I said, I'm horribly sorry about the light. 
Um, I am dealing with the sun right now, so if I can't exactly get like good pictures or like even like the vibrant colors into them, I apologize. But yeah, this was actually a pretty cool Disney mystery pin haul. If I had to pick my favorite, it would definitely be none other than Minnie Mouse. Like these three are my favorite. I mean, I do like this one, but I like this one better because I love her polka dot bow and she is just so cute. So yeah. Um, and then these are the ones that I'm not going to be keeping. These ones I think I'm going to be giving away for gifts and these ones I don't, well, I guess I could move this guy over here. These ones I'll be giving away for gifts and these ones I'll probably just like stash away kind of like in like my unwanted pins but like I still want to keep them because I love pins and they have little hidden Mickeys on them. So yeah, not bad. 75 pins and $39. That is a complete steal. So that is it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys to Disney World and back. And like I said, I'm going to be uploading a new video. Uh, I can't exactly tell you when, but just whenever I have a day off or just when I'm at, when I'm bored and I have nothing, absolutely nothing to do. Um, I'm definitely going to be ordering more of these pins in the future. Um, there's nothing really else I can really say about this package except for it was basically what I was expecting like a whole bunch of new pins that I'm gonna be keeping and it's just gonna be great in my new in my collection so pretty happy about this box so I guess I'll see you guys next time bye guys